Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I uh, cover a variety of different data science topics, including demos, which um, we're going to talk today about a quick uh, R script. Uh, and I'm going to cover this very quickly. Hopefully, you've been with me. I've covered several of these. You can see R71 is kind of where I started this particular script. Um, and I've loaded these three, these three packages right here. Um, and so then I've come through and I've created some videos. And today I'm going to do a very quick video. My goal is to make this really quick so that you can um, uh, utilize it. And, and so let's get straight to it. I'm going to, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about correlation matrices and uh, level plot in using level plot. And so I'm going to use this CARS data in this CRAN, um, this package available on CRAN called MASS. And if you're not familiar with that, you can go out to, to this package and you can see this is a variety of different data sets and I'm going to use this CARS data set so you can explore that on your own. Um, what we're here for is to talk about the um, using this data to create plots, specifically using this level plot function within R. And if I do that, I create this basically a correlation matrix and you can see the negative correlation to, to positive correlation between negative one and one um, this magenta being negative and the light blue being positive um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reorder this um, I'm going to create clusters I'm going to use this cluster and again you can create this code um, generate this code and play with it on your own um, and then I'm going to create a level plot there, and then you can see the effect, the level, the basically the clustering of the two different ones together. And of course, the axes changed. Um, and so anyway, I'm going to end there. I'm trying to do this in one minute. Thanks.